quite melancholy, it's quite menacing. The characters are, none of them are really like cheeky per se. Like people say what they mean, they mean what they say, and it's just a lot of that. So I, I felt like that helped me to get an idea of how to approach the music or at least what the tone should be. And then I listened to the soundtrack, isolated, spent a lot of time like riding around, taking walks, listening to that in isolation in the studio to kind of understand like what the musical palette is, you know, the sliding guitars, um, you know, the, the low menacing strings, um, yeah, and like what kind of genres they really approach and, and how all these wonderful, amazing artists have contributed to the soundtrack over the course of several seasons, so. And then the dancers are just like, they're incredible. Like even watching the rehearsal here, it's like they're instruments. They are like instruments. Like they are so well, yeah, tuned. <laughs> the music is everything. Every single section of this music, I think, symbolize what I love about music. And I love changes. I love different tempo, different feeling. We hadn't discussed how many musicians there would be, but I always imagined like ideally there would be some element. And because of the way that the show is, because of the conversations I've had with Stephen Knight, uh, the creator, and the way that he talks about it, um, it's always seemed like there was going to be like live musicians as a part of the show. Do you need me to look into the camera like I'm on The Office or something? <laughs> <laughs>